Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Medwood High School, and um, this is a topic on molarity calculation. Um, we've been doing the topic of solutions in class, and on the concentration, there are various um, calculations that we can do. There's parts per million, there's molarity, and there's molality. Okay, um, it is critical that we know the solute from the solvents when we're doing this topic. All right, and it's also very, very important that we read the questions carefully. Okay, we don't want to do any more than the question asks, and we don't want to do any less. Okay, um, by definition, molarity, capital M or big M, is moles of solute over liters of solution. Um, we did another video, and we saw that molality, a little m, is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent so there's a slight change right there and we agreed in class that if we want to find um, molarity we must divide these two quantities right here okay moles of solid over liters of solution and if we're trying to find the moles we need to multiply these two guys right here okay so let's do some examples now what's gonna happen you're gonna pause the video and do number four number six, number nine, and number eleven, and then we'll go over them and see how we did. Okay, um, in this particular problem in number four, it's asking us to find molarity, and they gave us five grams of NaOH, okay, and it's in the 750 mLs of solution. Now we see that NaOH is our solute because it's being dissolved in solution. Any time you have an ionic compound, an ionic compound will be a solid, and that will be your solute. And so we go from there. We see that we need moles of solute, and we're given grams. So once again, we don't panic. We simply are going to um, convert grams into moles, and we're pretty good at that right now because we had it in Chem 1. And we've been doing that with our um, different uh, concentration problems. So we'll put our 5 grams of NaOH down. Okay, so the conversion factor. All right, we are looking for moles, so moles goes on the top. And then we'll simply put grams of NaOH in the bottom. Now, in order to convert grams to moles or moles to grams, we need the GFM. Okay, so simply we'll calculate GFM over here. We have Na, we have O, and we have H. The mass of Na is approximately 23.0. The mass of oxygen is approximately 16. And H is 1. All right, so 23 plus 16 gives us 39. And 1 gives us 40. So all these guys added together gives us a GFM of 40 grams. Okay? So 40 grams per mole. Okay, 40 grams for every mole. All right, goes there. What happens next? The grams of NaOH, grams of NaOH cancels out. And that should give us a mass of 0.12 five moles okay now we move on we have our moles now of solutes we need liters of solution right okay they didn't give us liters they gave us milliliters okay mls but we don't panic we know how to convert um milliliters to liters so we put our 750 milliliters down okay and we'll simply if you forgot how to do it, you set up conversion factor again. All right. We're trying to find liters, and we're given milliliters. We want to get rid of that. We know from experience that one liter is 1,000 milliliters. Okay. The mLs cancel. All right. And we get 0 0.750 liters. And our next step would be to simply... Follow our triangle and divide these two guys. So we'll have 0 0.125 moles of solute divided by 
zero point seven five oh liters okay and that would give us molarity all right so when we do that division we should get approximately zero point one six seven big m okay and you're done all right so that's number four done right there moving on in this particular problem in number six they are asking us to find how many moles of sodium carbonate another ionic compound all right, so we assume that's our solute in 10 mL of a 2 molar solution. Now we just go um, look at it in, in fractions, in, in, in parts, all right? We are trying to find moles. So we look at this triangle, this guy, we're trying to find moles right here. So automatically we see that we have to multiply these two guys right here, the molarity and the liters, to give us moles, all right? So we'll concentrate on doing that. Um, they actually gave us molarity, which is 2.0 big M, so that's good. But they didn't give us liters, but we're not going to panic. We will convert those mLs to liters. So we simply set up a conversion factor, 10.0 mLs, okay, 1 liter, 1,000 mLs, okay. Now that's going to equal to 0 0.01 liters after you do your um calculation okay all right so we have 0 0.01 liters we have two big m so we're going to multiply those guys right away all right so let's do that so two another way of writing 2.0 big m is 2.0 moles per liter and we're going to times that by 0 0.01 liters the liters and the liters will cancel okay and that will give us 0 0.02 moles okay and uh that's the problem right there it's done that's all they wanted they wanted the moles all right so if we stop right there that's our answer 0 0.02 moles of na2co3 and you're done you move on okay next problem they're asking us to find the weight or mass, okay, of H2SO4 sulfuric acid, which is on table K, okay, needed to make this amount in volume of solution at this concentration 2.0. All right. So once again, we analyze it bit by bit. They are asking us to find mass, all right? So which one of these guys gives us mass most easily in terms of mass of solute it would be moles right we know so moles takes us to mass most easily so we once again have to do a multiplication of these guys right here to give us moles then we'll change our moles into mass now we look at our problem we have big m okay which is good but we're not given um liters we're given mls so from experience we know that seven 150 mLs, right, is equivalent to 0 0.750 liters, right, because I think we did that before, all right, and we have 2.0 big M, so we're going to do 2.0 moles per liter, because that's another way of writing big M, times 0 0.750, okay, liters, all right. Now, when we do that um, multiplication, obviously our liters and our liters will cancel. Okay. We will get 1.5 moles from there. All right, good. So that's our 1.5 moles. But we're not quite done because our 1.5 moles of H2SO4 will then give us um the ability to calculate the mass of h2so4 now, bef now before we calculate the mass of h2so4 we realize that we need a gfm of it so we have hydrogens okay we have two of them so two times 1.0 equals to two all right we have sulfur we have only one of them okay we're at 32.0 so that's 32 right there 
We have oxygens. We have four of them times 16. Okay, so that's 64. Okay, when we add all these guys up, okay, if I'm not mistaken, we get 98.0 grams per mole for our GFM. All right, so now we simply say we now we're going to do a um, conversion. Okay, so we have our 1.5 moles. All right, and we're going to convert that into grams. All right, so what happens is we're looking for grams. Okay, we want to get rid of moles. All right, so for moles go moles top and bottom. Our 98 goes there. Okay, and the GFM of any substance is always going to be one mole. The moles cancel. All right, and it's going to be 1.5 times 98. All right, and that should give us approximately 147 grams of H2SO4. Okay, so that should be the answer for that guy. So once again, if they ask you for mass of solutes, you don't panic, you find your moles of solutes and you go from there, okay? Alrighty, moving on. Okay, number 11. Now number 11 is asking us to find volume. All right, volume. Now, volume is this guy over here, our liters of solution. Okay, so we see that we need moles and molarity because we have to use moles and molarity to find the volume over here. So, what's going to happen? Uh, moles will be divided by molarity, and that will give us the answer in terms of volume. All right, so we look at the information we're given. We are given big M, so we have our molarity. We're also given moles. So, we just use these two guys, we're going to divide them and get our liters in volume okay so we're going to put our 3.00 moles okay in the top we will divide that by 12.0 moles per liter all right so what's going to happen is this the moles and the moles cancel right the liters it flips up okay to give us liters of volume that makes sense and we have 3 divided by 12 is the same thing as 1 over 4 or 0 0.25 liters okay and that's it all right you've just solved it now once again these problems are real simple folks but you have to make sure you follow the rules okay always 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 work in liters always work in moles of solute all right okay and then you didn't divide to find your molarity okay if you're trying to find moles you simply multiply these two guys read the questions carefully okay always is very critical again know the solute from the solvent all right and uh you're on your way okay as always hard work and sacrifice equal success um I'll be working on some more videos in terms of this topic of solutions, and I hope this video was a help. All right, take care. See you later.